Hi Capricorn, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Starting with your tarot reading, this is a general love reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. I want to start with what is affecting you right now in your subconscious that you may not be aware of. Can this connection be harmonious again? If you gave to this situation more energy, time, efforts and dedication, will it be a mutual connection? You have doubts, now you want more stability, but you see much inconsistency from them, especially when you are referring to the past. Now, what happened in the past? What is some lesson that you should have already learned and not repeat it, hopefully uh, not make the same mistakes? Yes, be extra sure if the person wants this connection and wants something serious, wants to make it long term, wants to make it better, to grow to something more beautiful. And if they keep you waiting, this is the first red flag. If they keep you waiting around an important decision about the progress, why are they doing that? Talking about this, about concerns, addressing them, it's highly recommended in order for you not to waste time anymore and energies. Let's see about what are your current energies? Three of Cups. I am not sure if you are trying to get out of your house more and trying to be more optimistic because I have the Three of Cups and the Hermit. I think that you have been reflecting a lot and withdrawn from some time, from your dating life or from having a more fun uh, part of your life, enjoying yourself more, maybe uh, getting out more with friends and yes something like that i think this is the time if you are have if you have not been active in your dating life or uh, proactively searching for a partner a better partner i think this is the time to do that that reflection should be over the time has finished now you just need to put some conclusions. You think you need more time, but no. Uh, that time was enough about reflection, about the past. Now try to be more active in your dating life and not just so focus on what happened wrong and feeling that energy of being ghosted or left out in the cold or unloved, focusing too much in the past. Yes, it's better said than done. I know that, but if you try to uh, be focused in this part as well, Three of Cups, enjoying yourself more and trying to date more, I think you will get to have some better clarity about the past situation as well. Now let's see about what is the best case scenario with this person that is currently in your mind. The best case scenario, Eight of Pentacles. the Emperor, Two of Swords. I think the best case scenario is you both trying to work through the challenges of this connection. It's not easy. Let's speak uh, the truth. Uh, it's a challenging, challenging connection where there's a lack of trust now. Somebody seems stubborn, does not want to change their mind very uh, fast or easily. There's confusion. Uh, the impression like the other partner is ignoring you, all that and those may be present in a restart. What will help it is if you both work harder 
I think it can get better, but it needs patience, dedication, and cooperation between you both. Eight of Pentacles. Here you see the card of person that is highly dedicated, working, and making something perfect or better. Now let's see about what are their actions, their possible actions towards you for the time frame of this reading, that is for the month of September. Let's see what are their possible actions towards you. Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. I think this person has been hurt emotionally from that separation. Now I don't know who did that first step of saying no and uh, deciding to separate from each other. You know better who was the main person that, or that was the main, what was the main reason of the separation. I'm, I don't know who, uh, yeah, if you are blaming them or if they are blaming you. The fact is here, three of swords, it's lots of heartbreak even for them, even if they were the person that, uh, got away from you first. They may have not, if this is the case, they may have not expected that you would stay consi consistent in your decision about not reconnecting again. And then they understood it. What really happened? They took it as a joke, maybe. They thought it was temporary, that you'd go back to them. And it didn't happen. And now they understand what happened and that broke their heart and they have lots of uh, insecurities. I don't see them giving up. They think about giving up. It is the Nine of Wands. It is the card before the Ten of Wands. So the connection feels heavy for them, but they haven't given up. And what are their possible actions? I see a passive energy from them. Uh, there's a very weak energy of action. They're just staying there. They're hoping for the best, but not doing something proactive, reaching out to you or telling you something. That's what I'm getting with the Three of Swords and Nine of Wands. At the same time, they know about the pain that was caused there. And it may not be the right moment to reconnect or talk, because uh, it needs more time to be healed. From all this, take what resonates. And um, I will continue now this reading in the extended with more details about the person that is currently in your mind. Think about that person. What kind of feelings do they have towards you? How do they view you right now? What are their intentions for now? Have their intentions changed? Uh, if you have watched another previous reading, uh, what are the energies around them? What are the energies that you share with each other? All those will hopefully provide a more deeper clarity about this whole situation. And if you are interested about watching the extended of this video about this person that is currently in your mind, you can find the extended video in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next reading and bye for now.